Texas Governor Rick Perry was indicted on Friday for charges of abusing his power of office to try and get the Austin District Attorney to resign after a drunk driving incident. Here with her insight into the matter is Austin District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, Miss Lemberg, are you drunk? No, I'm just, I'm really relaxed. Okay. <laughs> it would, you look drunk. You look really drunk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wait, shh. Yeah. What? Did you guys hear that? Up here, what? <laughs> it's in my head. I'm so wasted right now. <laughs> All right. So you, you just you just admitted to us that you were drunk, just like you ultimately pleaded guilty to the drunk driving charge. Well, and, and you had a bottle of vodka on your seat and a blood alcohol level three times the legal limit, which even for Texas is a lot. And you spent almost a month in jail, and they even had to place you in leg shackles. So, so how did how exactly did Rick Perry end up indicted over your arrest? Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna walk you through it, but I'm a little buzzed, so I may not be able to walk a straight line. Okay. 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 Just do your best. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So as my job, my job, is I'm the head of this uh, integrity thing. Great, okay, right, the Texas Public Integrity Unit. <clears throat> You're really smart. Okay. Do you want to make out? Uh, I actually am married, so. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to make out? Well, no, because I'm obviously second choice now, so. Huh? <laughs> All right, fine. You're lost because I'm really good at making out. Okay. Uh, could you please? <laughs> could you finish explaining what happened? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the Republicans. They're like, uh, don't, they don't like my investigating. And Rick Perry's like, Rosemary, stop looking into my friends and resign already. And I'm like, no, Rick Perry, I'm not going to resign. Do you want to make out? <laughs> and he said, no, I don't want to make out. I'm running for president. And then I was like, fine, you're lost because I'm really good at making out. No, yes, we, <laughs> yeah, we've established that. All right. And then... Um, so that, okay, okay, okay. So Rick Perry's like, okay, Rosemary, if you're not gonna resign, I'm gonna veto all the funding to your public integrity thing. And then these guys were like, no, that's not right. That's abusing your power. And the grand jury was like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> he was, he was abusing his powers. Wow, I, I think I actually understand this story now. Uh, thank you. And thank you. <laughs> well told, but there's, there's one thing that I still don't get. You're still district attorney. Yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> have seat, have seat. Um, why is Rick Perry in trouble and you're not? Uh, okay, okay, okay. See how I'm drunk right now? See yes. Drunk? yes, yes, I do. In the morning, I will not be drunk. But in the morning, Rick Perry will still be stupid. <laughs> Austin Dictor's district attorney, Rosemary Lemberg, everybody. And finally, uh, this week, beloved comedian and actor Robin Williams died at the age of 63. And uh, we here at Top Story just want to say, thank you, Mork. Thank you, Adrian Cronauer. Thank you, Sean McGuire. Thank you, Mrs. Doubtfire. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, my captain. Thank, thank you, Robin. Robin. For Top Story Weekly, I'm Matt Harris. And I'm Brett Pope. Good night.